Hi, it's Kerry Fitzgibbon here from Social Media Plus One and today I'm going to show you how you can create a website custom audience uh, or set a website custom audience up uh, and get that uh, conversion pixel on your website. So the reason why we want to, or why we want to collect a website custom audience, and just to let you know what one is, basically it's a little bit of code that goes onto your website that means that you can track people who have a Facebook account. You can track them when they um, come to your website, and then you can remarket back into them. So the likes of someone comes to your website, they might look at your product page, and then they might go back to Facebook or you're able to serve up ads to them based on the action that they take on your website which is really really cool so it might be that someone comes to your website and they um, uh, abandon shopping cart or you can remarket back to those people that abandon shopping cart or it might be that they come to your website and they um, they they they, they do buy something, then you have a choice of remarketing back other products to them. So there's lots of different things you can do, but you first start with actually putting that tracking pixel on your website so that you can track people that come to your website who have a Facebook account and you can advertise back to them on Facebook in the um, example that I'm giving today. So first of all, we want to log into Facebook and we want to go into our ads manager. Once we're in our ads manager, we go right down on the left hand side here to audiences and click on audiences. I have a whole heap of different um, website audiences and database audiences in here. You can do over 10,000, well you can do exactly 10,000 so there's lots of options in here on all different audiences that you can create. Okay, So we want to go over to the right hand side here and click on the create audience button. We've got three different options, a custom audience, create a lookalike audience, so this is an audience that looks like or has the same similarities of perhaps our database, our fans um, of a certain target group um, and we can actually save a target group as well. But we're going to concentrate on custom audience here and click on that. We then get three other options, we can upload our database, we can uh, um, track website traffic or app activity. We're going to be concentrating on website traffic right here. So this is creating a list of people who visit your website or view specific web pages. We then can choose anyone who visits your website, people who visit specific pages, web pages, people visiting specific web pages but not others, so have come to your buy your product or service but don't go through the purchase to the thank you page perhaps, people who haven't visited in a certain amount of time, so let's just say they haven't come to your website in the last two to three months, then you can do a different type of advert or you can have a custom combination. What we're going to be concentrating on is people who vis visit specific web pages. Now please note you only get one website custom audience code per Facebook ad account. Okay, So if you have several different websites you always want to be clicking on this people who visit specific web pages. Then you put the URL of your web page. So for instance I have several different businesses. One of them is socialmediaplus1.com. I'm going to copy. And paste the URL in here. Always copy and paste rather than try and guess it. Just so you don't um, stuff up the link. Now that's going to track anyone who comes to any page that's got the word social media plus one on it. So it contains. Okay. We can also do URL equals social media plus one. We can also add in keywords, so if you've got lots of different products and that you want to put keyword in. But we're going to go URL contains social media plus one dot com. So we're going to be tracking it for the last, we can do 30 days right up to 180 days. And we can include website past website traffic. If you've never put a pixel on your website before, it won't include past website traffic. But what we're going to do here is this is just going to track every single website visitor 
Um, this is one of the very first things you should do when you set up a website. You put your Google Analytics on there and you should put this pixel on here as well. So we make the rules up later. And what I mean by that is that later on we might have that they visited this page and then we set up another one saying they visited the thank you page and then we can run an advert to include people that came to this page but exclude people that came to the thank you page which means they might have bought your product opted into your free list okay so for this instance we're just going to go people who visited specific web pages and they visited social media plus one makes it nice and easy SM plus one all website visitors 180 days then we go create pixel create audience if you've never done this before this will take you through to copy the post uh, the, the copy the code because I have done it before I'm going to show you how I can get that bit of code so I tick this I go up to actions I view pixel two ways you can do this you can either send this code to your web developer or you can insert the code yourself so we're going to copy and paste that bit of code and we're going to go OK I'm then going to go into the back end of my website now I have a WordPress site and I can suggest an, um, the plugin for the WordPress site but if you don't have a WordPress site then you might want to look at either your developer doing it or if you can do it the code goes in the header tag of your website okay on every single page so I'm just going to go over to my website now okay so I've logged into my uh, social media page uh, plus one uh, back end of my website I'm going to go down here to settings and I'm going to go to per page or add head to every page this is my plugin if you haven't got the plugin you go into plugins over here and we go install plugins and this particular plugin is called per page head so let's go but there is other ones like header footer and whatever else so we're going to go into add head to every page I've already got one in here because I'm already tracking but if I didn't I would copy and paste that bit of code right in here and save changes that's on every page of the website now so that's the very first step in other videos I'm going to show you how to set up rules uh, to track people on different, um, different um, places in the buying process.